hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing like a get ready with me um first impressions i barely got this stuff and i really wanted to try it out like in front of camera and i'm super excited because there's some stuff that i've seen all around youtube and i'm like i need to try it so yeah let's get started how cute is my top like it's checkers and i don't know I really like it and I found it at Ross for like $8 it was super cheap I got this Smashbox photo finish primer looks like this um, it's just clear I don't know I've, I've seen um, youtubers say that this is such a good primer and I've never really tried Smashbox stuff. I don't even have a mirror. I'm just looking right there. It feels so smooth. I, don't know, I really like how it feels. I love how my skin looks right now. It looks so good. And for foundation, I don't really have anything new to try, so I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in shade Natural Beige 220. And I just put it on pump. I don't like wearing a lot of foundation. Because then I feel like my face looks so cakey. just getting ready because oh like it's been like already a week that I haven't even done makeup or gotten like like gone out not, not like gone out like um like I haven't dressed up lately I'm not just been feeling so so down or I don't know And I just really wanted to do my makeup today. I just felt like doing my makeup. And whenever I do my makeup, I feel like so, so much better. Because I, I started taking pictures and I don't know, it just helps my self-esteem a lot. So, then I we did, I'm going to be doing my brows. And this is not new, but I haven't tried it out and I've... I've had it in my makeup drawers for like a while and I haven't tried this. I only tried the pencil one. So I'm gonna try. Try it out today. And I got this this benefit um little brush. So it's the first time I'm trying it out. Wow, it looks so good and it's so pigmented. I'm a little closer because I feel like I was so far away. Right. So yeah, I think my eyebrows look, look pretty good. I remember, I remember that I used to never fill in my brows because I always felt I always felt that I had such dark um, eyebrows, but I will always see like my friends or like girls um, shading their eyebrows and I was like, I want to try it, like I want to fill in my eyebrows and I barely started doing this like a year barely because when I was in when I was in high school, I started um, sh 
shaping like filling in my eyebrows so now whenever I fill in my eyebrows I feel like they look they don't even look full but everybody everybody tells me I have really full eyebrows but I don't think so Oh my god, I painted it too harsh. My brow and it hurts so much and I hate when I get pimples there. Watches Jane the Virgin. I, fr I freaking love that show. Oh my god. I can't believe last Friday was the season finale and I was like, shocked and I was like, oh my god, you know. Um, I can't believe it and I'm not gonna say what happened because I don't know, like, I just haven't seen it. So I'm not gonna say, but wow. I was like, in shock and people are pretty mad about it but i'm like freaking happy and i kind of knew it i kind of knew that was gonna happen but if you guys haven't um seen jane the virgin i recommend you guys um watching it i really like it because it's hispanic and like so i like how they they do like like they do it like mexican style like como novela and that's because i love novelas like the ones that i love to watch is teresa and ruby i watch those novelas like five times already and i can't stop watching them they're so good and like even though i know what's gonna happen but I still watch them because I love it. I love novel I love those novelas and also the one that I I saw for the first time is um Lo que la vida me robó. That one's also good. So I think that uh, I guess that's why I like Jane the Virgin because it's like novela and it makes you like it makes you feel like it, it's a novela and and. At first, I thought I wasn't gonna like it because my brother was the one who told me, Oh, there's a new, um, there's a TV show called Jane the Virgin about this girl that she's the virgin but she had a baby. And I was like, What? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, hello, you, you know, that, you know, you know what I mean? So I was just like, What the heck? So I was like, You know what? Like, I was like, I'm gonna see it to see, like, what the heck and saw the first episode and i've i fell in love with the show and now i can't stop watching it and i'm so sad that that it was the season finale last friday so i have to wait i don't know how many months for the next season and i already know i already want to know what's gonna happen like i have to wait but but you guys should watch in the virgin i'm just gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna carve my eyebrows because I kind of messed up on them. So. I feel like whenever I do my brows, I can't talk at the same time because I'm so concentrated on them. And also my mascara. I don't even know what's my eyebrow shape. Like, I'm the one who plugs them because. I only trust myself and one of my friends who used to always thread my eyebrows in school but sadly she's gone so now I have to be the one doing them and I don't trust anybody to do my eyebrows because I'm so scared that they're gonna make them so thin and I don't like having my eyebrows thin because I used to have my eyebrows so thin 
because that was like i guess the trend or not the trend like that's how they used to do it so at one point i am so thin and then there was a trend that everybody had their eyebrows so thick so i was like oh my god now i have to grow my eyebrows and it took me it took long but i feel like to grow them out it was like such a pain because because i'll see like a little hair and i'm that type of person that if i see a little hair i just want to pluck it out like super quick and i totally forgot that i have a new eyeshadow palette that i want to try and i already did my like my foundation and i don't really i really like to first do my eyeshadow because like what if there's fallout and you know so i'm just taking my concealer to prime my my eyes I can't believe that I'm actually that I actually have a YouTube channel. I've always wanted a YouTube channel because okay, this is embarrassing, but when I would do my makeup, I was in my room, you know, like doing my makeup and stuff, and I was alone, my sister was in there, so I was like, okay, I would do my makeup and I'll be like in my mirror and I'll be talking to myself like if I was talking to a camera and stuff. And then I was like, yeah, so this and that. I was like, you know, being a YouTuber. Because I, I don't know, I, I just thought a, having a YouTube channel would be so cool. But I didn't want to have one during school because and then, I don't know, it would be weird. So yeah, I was like, you know what? Like, So I'll be there in my, my room talking to myself. And one time my sister called me and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm talking to my fans. And then she'll be like, like what like you're crazy you know but i'm just like i really want a youtube channel and stuff she'll always make fun of me and i think she's still making fun of me right now like watching this video or watching my videos but i don't care so yeah one time my boyfriend caught me doing that again like i was i was here doing my makeup and i was talking to myself and i was like yeah it looks so good and stuff and then he was like he opens the door and he's like okay he started laughing he just left and i was like it's so embarrassing but i told him i was like i do this thing that i like talking to myself i don't know like when i'm talking to myself like como like según que estoy hablando con alguien and i'm like like to my fans or whatever and he was just like okay <laughs> but yeah i got this beach cosmetics um palette and it's like 21 color eyeshadow there's 21 oh yeah there's 21 but they're small 21 color eyeshadow highlighter and a contour palette so this is, so this is how it looks it's so pretty the colors are so pretty oh no i can't do this okay. but yeah they're so pretty so you have your highlights your highlights your contour and the eyeshadows and they're so pretty they remind me of color pop eyeshadows for some reason uh, i'm taking this color just to set that concealer oh sorry i'm just gonna set the concealer and i don't even know i don't even know how to do eyeshadow like eyeshadow tutorial eyeshadow tutorials because i don't even know how to do eyeshadow i just I kind of get frustrated like blending i don't have patience for that so that's i'm just like i'm not gonna do that taking and i really love the the um, the names you know i'm taking pancake like the one next to it there's a lot of cake back but i don't i don't care i don't i don't mind Whenever I see like my favorite YouTubers do their eyeshadow, I'm like, why can't I do my eyeshadow like that? They're so pretty. And I try to recreate them, but I feel like they don't 
look nothing like that nothing i feel like mine looks so ugly and i have a wedding coming up and i'm practicing to do my eyeshadow because i mean if i'm going to the wedding so i was like i have to look all glammed and stuff it's a special special occasion so i was like you know what i'm gonna have to go all out with eyeshadow because like right now like my every day i don't wear eyeshadow but i'm just doing eyeshadow because i really wanted to try this palette out it looks so pretty so i was like you know what i'm gonna sit down and do a video take control freak it's a little bit darker they're super pigmented okay I'm just gonna take fairy tale oh that's pretty brown bone I'm just gonna take Angel, just like white glittery. Oh my god, that's so pretty! Think. Oh, so I'm then going to take my Tarte Shade Tape Concealer. Ever since I got this concealer, I can't, I can't stop using this concealer. It's so good full coverage and I just like taking a little bit because a little goes a long way so that's why I feel really liking the it's a drugstore powder from revolution luxury baking powder and banana and I got this because um Daisy Daisy Marquez did another video saying like that she's been using that with some other powder so I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try and it's super affordable and it kind of reminds me of the beignet powder I'm just pressing in the powder and putting it whatever is left over in my sponge um, I'm just putting it all over and my face looks so good going back with the pa with the palette I'll be taking pancake my lower lash line Then I'm taking mousse. Is that my contour? I don't really contour my face, so I'm just gonna like, I guess, bronze. Taking mocha. I think that's my shade. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of. There's a lot of fallout. A good shade for me. So my, my whole face looks so good right now. I've never, my face has never looked so good. Taking my benefit. Sasia Beverly Hills Emery, Emreezy. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I've been seeing all around YouTube how pretty it looks and look how freaking beautiful it looks. It's a real techniques one. Let's just let's just try. Doesn't look doesn't apply that bad. Look at the highlight. This is so pretty. I really like how it's so pretty. This is so freaking gorgeous. And doesn't apply it that bad. 
I think this is my new favorite highlighter. It's from the K24 Guide Eye Pencil. But the color is so pretty that I'm going to put it in my lips. Taking the Urban Decay Hi Fi Shine. This one's in Fireball. So I'm gonna be using these two. Um, this one I already tried it, it's my favorite. But I'm gonna be trying the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara. So yeah, let's get, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. How pretty long eyelashes but I just like curling them because I feel like the makeup be even longer it's one in one one eyelash curler but my mom was like si te van a caer las pestañas así so I wouldn't curl my eyelashes I remember when I had um my cousin gave me a pink one in high school you no know, like Oh, like, um, sneak, like, I'll curl my eyelashes without my mom knowing. Because she will always say, come here, I think it's tanyas. But I mean, if you curl it the right way, I think, I think it happened. I like how it's black, like, super black. But the only problem that I'm seeing with this is that my eyelashes tend to clump. Like they stick together and I don't like I don't like that. Mm. So I'm just so I'm just gonna take so I'm just going to take my rubber lash because I like how they separate. It separates my eyelashes. I don't know why, but I always do this eyelash better than this one. Cool. Oh. Well, yeah, in middle school. And and I put mascara for the first time. Everybody thought that they were eyelash extensions. Like, not eyelash extensions. They thought they were um eyelashes. And I was like, mm -mm, no, they're my eyelashes. And they wouldn't even believe it. Because I had so much eyelashes and they're super long. And, and like, that was like my go to makeup. Only mascara. Everyday mascara, 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 mascara. But the only problem was my dumb um, little me didn't know that there was a waterproof mascara and there was um like a regular mascara and so whenever i'll go buy a new mascara i'll just pick the first one that there's there like i, I wouldn't really check if it was waterproof and so i'll just be like i'll go to heb or well yeah i will always buy my mascaras at heb and i'll just get the first one and i'll leave and when I started watching YouTube videos, like makeup and stuff, like it was already like in 8th grade, I think. Yeah, it was 8th grade. Um, I was watching YouTube, a YouTube video. And they were talking about like difference between waterproof and regular mascara. And I was like, oh my god, I'm like, no wonder I struggled so much 
when I would take a shower, I struggled so much to take to take out um the I like the mascara. And I was so dumb. I'll literally pull my eyelashes like to take off the rest of the mascara. So the years passed. I've been doing it for like two years. So I I've been now I have like I mean I have I think I'm I think my eyelashes look pretty good right now. But there's a point that I didn't I didn't really have that much eyelashes because of how much I was taking them out. Like I was picking them out and I was so I was so dumb back then. So what I do so I can like let them grow. I'll put um castor oil. I used to put coconut oil too, but I mean, coconut oil is pretty expensive. But it actually works. And I'll put them like on top, like on top of my like the, the eyelash, like the roots, I guess that's that's what it's called, or I don't know. And I'll put them overnight. And that's like I'll yeah, I'll leave that overnight. And and yeah, like every night, every day, like every night, I'll put coconut oil or castor oil up to this day. That's what I do. And that's really helped my eyelashes. So yeah, if you guys want to grow your eyelashes, I try coconut oil or castor oil or just mix those together and it actually works. And we're just going to be setting our face. And I have the Too Faced Mystical Freck Sense and Refreshing Spray. But I'm kind of scared to use it because... Like in the bottom, there's like glitter, and I'm scared that, oh, and I'm scared that it's just gonna spray little glitter everywhere in my face, and I don't want that. But it's so pretty. Look, when I shake it, it looks so pretty. And I don't know to try this, and also got the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I've heard really good things about it. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna spray this, and I'm gonna spray this on top. Or spray this and spray this on top. I'm not sure, but I really want to try both of them. Hopefully, I like it because it's so pretty, and I don't know. I haven't seen anyone try. I haven't seen videos about that because I usually always see videos and then buy the stuff. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it for myself because everybody's different. So I was like, got it. So I'm taking my Urban Decay. It smells so good, and it. Oh, the mist is so fine oh my god wow my face hasn't looked this good i'm being honest i will always have trouble in my nose area it will like my foundation will always crack and everything and my it actually looks so good and i'm not gonna try it because my face looks so good and i don't want to ruin my face i really like all the products i like the highlighter I like the primer. The primer looks looks so good. The the mascara I don't really like it. It's like, and the eyebrows they look pretty good. And the eyeshadow I really like it. It looks so pretty. This is how my makeup turned out. I think my face looks so so good right now. I'm so impressed with the products. And yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I really had so much fun uh, filming this video. And, but I really like doing this types of video. And I hope you guys like those, um, hope you guys like these types of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.